I started the journey of opening up a grocery store in Detroit because I wanted to rebuild the neighborhoods that I came from. It's been quite the journey for Detroit native Raphael Wright, who has been on an active campaign to provide the wellness and economic engine he believes his community deserves. You have to start with food. You have to start with um, controlling, distributing, growing um, the food that's in the community. The people are part of that. Um, has to be from the community as well. The birth of neighborhood grocery. Raphael doing his part and putting his stamp into what redevelopment looks like in this Jefferson Chalmers neighborhood. If you don't have um, healthy food or access to healthy food where you live, um, you want to borrow time, and, you know, wherever you are. So, you know, grocery stores are important because they anchor the community. They make sure that people have food um, and they don't have to drive far to get it. Since day one of its opening on 500 Manistee Street, customers have come from near and far to shop at Neighborhood Grocery, grabbing their baskets, picking from an assortment of fruits and vegetables, snacks, and an array of food items. A black-owned grocery store, welcome news to neighbors here on the east side. We always are here trying to strive for our families, and, and I'm, I'm grateful that he's doing this. Since 2016, Raphael has spent years involved in a number of food boot camps and accelerations, just learning and growing. And after much crowdfunding, along with an $85,000 Motor City Match Grant and months of renovations later, Neighborhood Grocery serves as a place not just for basic food items, but for healthier options as well. This is not a health store, but we prioritize health. We make sure that we put the healthy stuff in your face um, in, a, in a proportion that won't help, uh, allow you to waste money. You want to make sure that you're saving money. You want to make sure that you are being properly nourished. From what started as an idea has now fostered into reality. Lots of determination and hard work that now has Raphael saying he's open for business. In Detroit, on the east side, Andre Ash, Michigan Chronicle.